There's a lot to like about Claude. As Dad has pointed out, he endears himself to everybody. I moved to America uh, in 2012 with the family. And for me, that was a pretty difficult time in my life. I was finishing up my studies and hoping to find work, find employment in America. And uh, nothing went right for me. But John Claude was there, and you know, I, I got to know him quite a bit during that time. And I came to realise pretty early on that he was genuinely the most annoying person I'd ever met. Now, people always tell you it's risky to marry your first girlfriend, but in true Perite fashion, Chantel was my first, as well as my second, third, and fourth girlfriend. <laughs> Each breakup has been heartbreaking and confusing. Each time one of us decided the timing wasn't right, we'd catch up with the intention of breaking up, but the end spent the whole day together. Then we'd break up at the end of these dates. The endings were excruciating and confusing, but these were some of my favourite dates over the years. <laughs> Despite the ups and downs, the writing was on the wall from the start. I have a text here I sent Francesca on the 21st of August 2017, two days after meeting Chantel for the first time. And it reads, I had a great chat with my future wife on Saturday. And I was right. When I decided for the last time to try and get back together with Chantel, it took me some time to pluck up the courage to give her a call. And it didn't start well. After picking it up, it was obvious she deleted my number. Who is this? She answered. Not a great start, but after some talking, we decided to get coffee and I think we had the longest date we've ever had. The coffee turned into lunch, which turned into wine and dinner, before I walked Chantal home and asked her to drive me home later on. <laughs> uh... <laughs> and we know they have everything they need for a beautiful life together. You can see that by looking around this room at their families and friends, where there's so much love and warmth and support urging them both on to start their life together. So Jean-Claude and Chantel, we're delighted that you've met, that you've fallen in love, and that you've married the right person. But they both know that that's not enough. They know that your future happiness is not only dependent on marrying the right person, but on being the right person. And we all know that that's not easy, so we're here to help you. And we're always going to support you, no matter how hard things might become. We know how excited you feel today. And we know that you believe that those feelings you have are so strong that you're going to be able to handle every difficulty and challenge that comes your way. So we urge you not to lose that feeling. Have faith in each other. Not only will things work out, but you are going to reap a rich reward. We know this because that's what happened to us. Today I married the best woman I've ever met and my best friend. You're the most law person I've ever met. It's something I saw in you when we first met. You stood by me in all the ups and downs and have lifted me up even when I didn't think I needed it. No matter how tired and busy you may be with work, you always make time to make other people's lives easier and are completely selfless. Chantel, you're the woman that is constantly striving for the good in me, yourself and others. You regularly draw me closer to God. You improve my faith. And I know you'll try your very best to get me to heaven with you. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. Chantel, my beautiful wife. I, Jean-Claude, take you, Chantel, to be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. To love you and to honour you all the days of my life.
behind Still the best is yet to come